hey guys welcome back to my channel for another exciting episode of house hunting and this time i'm going to specifically be focusing on common rock area and yama villa area to see some of the available home options that you can find there and yes i'm not going to go to the nice gated communities what i'm going to be showing you are cheap and affordable house options or home options that you can find within these two areas that are absolutely stunning and beautiful if you're new here please don't forget to like subscribe and comment for more content so as I begin this video and take you through some of the houses that I was able to see I'm also going to be giving you my reviews on how easy it is to get to access to some of these houses and my personal reviews on how the homes were if I would recommend it or not so I hope you enjoy so this is the first building that we were able to find a house in it's actually a two bedroom house and this house is um, in Komarok area, specifically in front of Komarok phase 3A. Um, it's directly in fit, it's a white building, sorry I was not able to show you the outside of the building but this is the house. So once you enter, the first thing that you notice is actually the amazing wallpaper that the house has. Then I decided to go into the room, the first one that I saw, and this is the first bedroom. It really has nice cabinets for keeping your clothing and all that stuff but the room was actually really really small so that's why you cannot see um, the spaces on the flooring clearly but I love how the tiles are the walls are clean the problem is just that it's so small and as I walk into this room this is actually the living area I'm at the sitting room area and it's really tiny I hope you guys can notice that Then on this side you have your kitchen to the left and to the right you have your washroom. So this is the space that you have for the kitchen. And for this building um, on availability of water, the caretaker managed to tell us that you only get water once a week. So in case the caretaker forgets to pump water during that trip, come to Kwanamaji. And this is the second room. As you can see this building really has nice cabinets but it's really really small and this house was the first house we saw that day and it was going for 18,000 18, as you can see it's directly in front of Comarac First 3A so if you want to go check this house there then you're free to go but for me I would not recommend it since it's really small then this is the second house that we were able to get. It's actually a main house and it's in Komarok phase 3. I really can't remember which part of phase 3 but I will let you know in the comments below once I find out. And this is the entrance actually once you get through the gate. It's actually a really nice area. And it's sort of a modern old kind of house. You know it gives you that vibes. But it's really a nice house from the entrance. and. You have your privacy since it's like an own compound you don't have to share your compound so the first thing you notice once you enter this house is that it really has a huge living room the living room is really spacious and huge and then this door that's directly um to your right once you enter the living room is the first this is a three bedroom house and I love the, I like the tiles on the floor, it really brightens up the house. I loved how they played with the tiles, the tiles are really nice. And you see the living room is really really huge in this house. So spacing in this house is something that they didn't compromise with and that's something that I love about this place. Then from there, as you go deeper into the house, this is the second bedroom and it's also really nice and spacious and this is the storage area that they offer you uh, for cabinets. And the lighting in this house is amazing, there was no dark room, every room is well lit. And from there you go to the washroom area, so they have a separate um, bathroom and toilet. So you don't have to like have that pressure of sharing your toilet and your bathroom, it's separate. It's quite small, yes, but I think um, you can manage since it's like separate. 
but only the, the washroom area was small and then this is the kitchen area so you have like your cabinet storage space up there and this is the storage space, space sorry on the ground for the sink area and yeah this house is really 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 quite spacious also this building had um, nice ceilings so you don't have like to worms because the ceiling have been sorted out the ceiling was brand new actually the caretaker told us that this house was undergoing renovations so if any of you manage to find this house where it's still on rent then you're going to find everything brand new and what's actually going on here is that we're trying to unlock this door to show you the background of the house but before that let me just show you the third bedroom so this is the third bedroom and from the window you can see the background to I mean like to the back of the house not the background you can get to see the back of the house and it also has like nice space for keeping your clothes so you don't have to worry about storage in this house and lighting because every room is well lit and as you can see a sneak peek from here the back part of the house has like a small garden so if you're someone who's like into gardening and all that stuff this is like an amazing place for you and this building this house actually has water problems so you also don't have to worry about water problems and yeah this is a house that i would totally recommend i love the features of the house and also there's no ilashidaya um kulipa having to pay commission to view the house and paying the person who helped you find the house this house does not have that issue so you won't have to go through that stress and like other common work areas whereby this issue is a lot So guys finally I'm going to be taking you to the last house which is in Yama Villa area and a two bedroom house it's actually in a building of a two floored building and once you get it's on the second floor of this house this is the living room and it is huge it is really huge so if you're someone who loves space there this is the house for you and it is well lit it has large windows so immediately you walk out of the living room the first thing you notice to your left is the doors to the two bedrooms and this door to the washroom area and it is a um, shared washroom and a shared bathroom and toilet but it is quite spacious because i was able to like walk in and close the door behind me and as you can see there is a lot of space so you don't have to worry about space in this washroom then from there I'm going to show you the kitchen area and as you can see it's also really spacious and I love the tiles in this house they're really really nice and beautiful and you have ample storage for all your stuff both on the lower cabinets and on the top cabinets. This building also has minimal water problems so you don't have to worry about water shortage in this building and this is the like the balcony uh, the door to this balcony is in the kitchen and as you can see you have a nice view from this balcony then finally I'm going to be showing you the bedrooms and this is the first bedroom well lit and really really spacious love the flooring again and it also has um, cabinets for storage for your clothes so you don't have to worry about that because some people don't like houses without cabinets so um, this building does not have that problem you have your cabinets and this is the second bedroom it is quite dark but i hope you guys can be able to see that it is really spacious and it also has um nice cabinets for storage so you don't have to worry about that 
and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you want to see more house hunting content on this channel do not forget to like to subscribe and to comment goodbye